What is up guys, Ben here from BTEC HD. So if you are aware about what's going on in the world about technology, you would have noticed that WWDC is going on and Apple has just announced some new updates for the Apple Watch with Watch OS 3. So there's plenty of updates going on with Watch OS 3, but we're gonna go over some of my favorite ones that I think are really actually valuable to the watch itself. But yeah, without wasting any time, let's get right into it. So right off the bat, one of the biggest complaints with the Apple Watch was its loading times. Whenever you open up an application, it took about like 10 seconds just to open up, just because there are some apps on there that do take time to load, but Apple has tried to adjust and fix it, and actually it's become really, really fast. And now you can app launch immediately with updated information, so they're just always ready when you are, and you can easily go to all your favorite applications by just clicking the new dock button, and it will take you through all your favorite applications. In addition to that, they've also added a new feature to the Apple Watch where if you do swipe up similar to the iPhone, you will see like a control center, which includes like most of your settings that you usually do to adjust the Apple Watch. Coming up next is the main focus of the Apple Watch, which is your watch face. Now, Apple has announced some new watch faces to its lineup, including some bigger ones that are customizable, and you can have a selection of useful apps, especially one that's like a modular face. It looks really cool. Like, the number has changed from like angle to angle, whatever time it is. They have three new activity watch faces, which will allow you to see your activity rings better, and it's really cool because I usually use my activity rings all the time. In terms of the workout app, they've added a little bit more new stuff into the workout app right onto the watch. So now you can see your distance, your pace, your active calories, your heart rate, and even your elapsed time all at once on one screen. And one cool thing that they've added is, let's say you are working out and you do stop or you need to do something really fast and you're just standing still, it will automatically pause and then it will resume as soon as you start doing your workout. So you're not getting any fake calories or something like that, just adding up. So you have a really accurate reading on your Apple Watch itself. Now one cool thing that they've added is this thing called the Breathe app on your Apple Watch and it's kind of a weird thing but it kind of helps you like relax and it's kind of like a meditation thing I guess. I haven't tried it out myself but I'm actually kind of excited to use it. It allows you to see your heart rate when you're done and use the time to breathe reminders to fit a session into each day. So it's kind of like a relaxation thing. So it's a really cool thing that they've added I guess into the watch. Kind of weird but I guess we can see. So one of the biggest things that I used to hate about the Apple Watch was its messaging section. I thought it was really like, it wasn't really up to date of how it should be because there's a lot of different things you can do on a watch. They've added a new function that's called Scribble and it looked pretty cool on the thing. You can basically reply in your own handwriting or scribble letters, which is also available in English or Chinese on the display and let the Apple Watch turn it into text. I'm not sure how this will work on like real life situations, like on the moment, because obviously he's using like the most like advanced version of watch os 3 probably but yeah i'm not sure how it actually works i haven't tested it on myself but the function and the feature itself does actually look really cool and it definitely does add another cool feature to the apple watch messaging section which was already really bad in my opinion they've added this new feature that you can automatically call for help so you can just press and hold the side button no matter where you are in the world sos initiates the call with the local emergency services obviously it's a really handy tool and it should be on the watch when it first rolled out so some of these if you'll notice these should have been here when Watch OS 1 was released, but better late than never, so it's a good thing that Apple does have them now. Yeah, that's it says WWDC if you can't see it. So yeah, that'll be it for this video. I am hope you guys enjoyed WWDC. But yeah, those are some of the updates to Watch OS 3. I know there's some updates that should have been there a long time back, but I mean, it's better late than never, so I'm glad we actually have them on the Apple Watch now. But yeah, besides that, if you did enjoy the video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Ben from BTech HD, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.